guys, welcome back to my channel, Budget Life in Candyland. Today's video is a Dollar Tree DIY. It's a donut wall. It's perfect for any kind of party, birthday parties, weddings, um, especially rustic weddings. It's also great for bridal showers. I made one last year for my bridal shower and it's simple to make cost five dollars you can get everything at the dollar it's really really cute and everyone loves it it's a big hit at any party right now we're not having big gatherings because of covid so it's perfect for a small get together um and and it's just great for the kiddos just to have a nice movie night with the donut wall and the s'mores fireplace is definitely a hit too so i'll link that video below as well um, but you can put them together and have movie night and the kids will love it. So let's get on with the DIY. Here we go. Okay, everyone, you will need two poster boards. So you can get the white one and get the black one. It doesn't matter because you're going to cover. You will need the contact paper from Dollar Tree. I went with the rustic print. Um, I'm going more for a rustic look. Um, you will need um, foam brushes. You're gonna actually use the um, end of these as the donut holder. So um, there's actually eight in here. If you're gonna do more than eight donuts on the wall, then you'll need two packs. Um, just depends on how big your donuts are. If you're making them at home, then they're probably a little bit small. If you're actually buying them, then they're gonna be bigger, so one package is enough. I also get the um, multi-pack of the round doilies. Um, only because I want to put them behind the grease behind from the donut then that way it's better it's better to have these um, so that way it doesn't destroy your whole donut wall okay so you're gonna glue both poster boards together to make a thicker one so you can use hot glue e6000 whatever works for you Okay, so once you have your poster board all together and you have it glued and it's one big board, one thick board, then you can go ahead and start putting your contact paper on. It is going to be long enough, it's not, the width is not going to be there. So you are going to have to cut off part of the um, poster board, but I'll show, you when, um, I'll show you when we do that. So here is the contact paper and we're just going to go ahead and put that on there. So it's sticky. You might want to use a um, credit card to make sure you get out all the bubbles. So what I do is I am going to start on the edge at the top. But I kind of want it to hang over a little bit because it gives it a little bit more strength to the board and it covers the sides. right there and pull as you go and make sure it's pretty down pretty fur and then um, you can just pull it you don't really have to use a credit card you can just pull it as you go and it has a pretty print so if you're doing like a rustic theme party a rustic backyard wedding since we are in quarantine um, this would be perfect. I mean, you can't have that many people as it is, and um, and who doesn't love donuts? And rustic weddings are so popular for the fall time. have a little bit and then go ahead and cut it try to get it as straight as possible and there you 
have it. So now you're gonna flip it over and kind of pull so that it lays evenly without bumps. It is all straight and you're good to go. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the bottom edge. And there you have it. So then your board is done um, and you're ready to drill your holes to put your um, wood sticks in. So, that you, so before you drill your holes um, to put the wooden sticks in, if you wanna put something at the top, um, like a saying or anything, um, I'm actually putting donuts. I put donuts like I did, I wrote out donuts. Um, and put at the top if you just want to put greenery is nice as well. Um, I did get these wooden letters at Dollar Tree. I did paint them with the granite gray apple barrel paint. I mixed it with the folk art teddy bear tan, which I got both of these at Walmart. So depending on how many donuts you want to put on your wall, you can divide it out, measure it out, and um, drill the holes wherever you put your markings. So my husband is gonna drill the holes right now, and, and I'll show you after. Okay, so you're gonna take these, um, there's eight in a pack and you're gonna take each one and you're gonna just break it off. It comes off really easy and you're gonna set it aside. So depending on how many donuts you wanna put on here, how big, if you make them homemade, if you're buying them at the store, at a donut shop, um, so depending on the size that you so want. Once you have all your sticks broken off of the sponge, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it in the hole that you already drilled and push down. You're gonna do that for each single one so it makes a bigger hole but it fits right in. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the end that is broken off, the broken off end that has the black piece, you're gonna put hot glue all over it. You're also gonna put hot glue inside the hole you can also put E6000. I just don't like to work with E6000 too much. If you want to turn it over, you could always put more hot glue on it. Whatever works for you. If you want to put some E6000, so there you go. And then you're going to let this dry for 24 hours prior to putting the donuts on. So then after you can decorate it with your donuts that you bought at the donut shop or at the grocery store, or you can make some yourself. So I only did two rows, but if you wanted to do three rows, you can. You can move the second row 
up a little bit and then you can put a third row. Or you don't even have to put anything at the top and you could start further up. Just depending on how you like it and whatever your style is. But it turned out so nice. It looks so rustic and nobody would ever know that it cost $5. Okay, I'm doing the wall both ways to show you. So if you want to put the doilies on there, you can. Doilies save it from getting all greasy. And they add a cute texture to it as well. So what you will do is you will take this, you will kind of make it in half. And you're gonna take make a little slit in it so the wooden stick will fit on it. And voila, there you go. And you put it against it. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the doilies. And it's super duper cute either way, depending on your style. And I just love it. So you can do with or without, it's less greasy um, with, so, and the board will last longer. So, here's a better look at it that it's darker out and I put the s'more station right next to it too.